What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mike here with People's Choice Gaming and today I have a breakdown of the new secondary weapon, the Tysis. Now guys, when I first seen this weapon, I was pretty happy with the way it looked, first off. It basically looks a lot like the primary weapon, the Synapse, which is one of my favorite weapons and favorite looking weapons. And this is actually what the devs were going for. They were trying to go with the secondary weapon that was modeled off the primary weapon, the Synapse, with the whole infested model and the tail and everything, and it's a pretty cool looking weapon. I was also able to tell that before even using it, it was going to act just like the Acrid. And this led me to believe, were they trying to put out another version of the Acrid that was maybe an improvement of the existing one? Well, a comparison between both of them is, this weapon deals corrosive base damage, the Acrid deals toxin base damage. Those are both pretty good. Now, this weapon shoots darts, you know, just like the Acrid, and they have a travel time and everything. But the Acrid does 20 damage, this does 35 damage, so 15 more damage. However, a big difference and disadvantage is this weapon is a belt three times slower than the Acrid with only a 2.5 fire rate. And it's got a status chance of 50%, which is really nice. So, all in all, eh, it's pretty similar to the Acrid, maybe a little bit better, but as a weapon itself, it's got some pretty hefty disadvantages. The fact that the fire rate is so low, coupled with the fact that the weapon is the kind of weapon that has a travel time and a slower projectile speed, all this coupled together isn't that great. And in the end it's kind of a lower base damage so this isn't a weapon that you're gonna be crushing enemies at a very high level with or killing very uh, quickly or from very far away however it's still a pretty strong overall weapon it's got the 50 percent status chance status chance which is really nice and it has a corrosive base damage which gives it great versatility against Grenier and for modding for high level voids also for infested because corrosive is the best against the two toughest ancients the poison and disruptors and you could just add the blast elemental combo which is best against the light infested plus you're always going to be getting that knockdown um, status proc which is pretty much one of the best procs so this weapon still has a lot going for it just strength wise you know it's not a top tier weapon Alright guys, let's quickly go over the best ways to mod your Tysis for all factions. It's really easy with the Tysis. Because we're starting off with corrosive base damage. You're going to have 35 base damage, it's all corrosive. We'll start with Grenier first. You got Barrel Diffusion, Hornet Strike, and Lethal Torrent that you definitely want on there. And that's the same for all weapons. You always want that as your best base damage. And then you're going to want to get your Elemental Combo on. Unfortunately, the weapon has no polarities to start with, but you will be able to fit one elemental combo with your catalyst at level 30. And for Grenier, you're going to want to put radiation on, which is electricity and fire. So for your higher level survival and defense, you'll have the best combo, which is radiation. And you'll have the corrosive, which will give you a bonus against the heavy gunners, which is nice. And the corrosive is going to be the best damage on regular maps as well which is nice now for voids you're gonna want to put on the magnetic combo because basically we want corrosive for the heavy gunners the grenier and the ancients and then on most of the other builds we'll put an ice mod in to help out with the shields and that'll be the best all-around builds on most other weapons that I've figured out but on this weapon since we already start with corrosive we can add an ice and an electric, uh, electric mod to make magnetic. So now we got magnetic giving us a big bonus against all the shields in the void. And we still got the corrosive for the heavy gunners, the ancients, and the grenier. So this weapon works out really nicely for voids. And actually, you're going to use the same exact build for corpus. Because you want to put magnetic on for corpus, which is the same thing here. You could use deep freeze. For 20% more damage added to your magnetic combo but it's not much difference and I personally like the magazine capacity so I use ice storm that would that'll just be personal preference up to you guys and that's pretty much it. it's really simple 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.